What's up, y'all? We're back with you live today. Glad to be back for another video with guess who? Y'all know who it is. Mm, Dragonheart 1984 he is. What we're going to be doing today is a tune-up on a still BR600 Magnum backpack blower. This model has a chain fuel filter system so there's two fuel filters in the tank so here's our machine we got the still br600 the basic tools you're going to need for this task some long needle nose pliers any kind of t25 star head to loosen the screws on the machine itself and if you can find one of these you'll be golden it's a one and done service kit it has the air filter the spark plug and the double fuel filter system I was talking about. One fuel filter has two plugs coming out of it, the other one has a single. We're also replacing the primer bulb today because this one looks like it has a hole in it. This big orange cover here, you're going to want to take that off if you're doing the fuel bulb. I don't think you can get it out without removing this cover. To do that, you've got two screws up here on top, two screws underneath down here in the bottom, and the three screws here on your pull string. And then you've got two screws on your air filter cover. Now, this pull string cover comes off completely, so don't freak out when you pull this off thinking it's got to have some kind of special orientation when you put it back on for the pull start to work properly. The pins in here stay in on their own, so it only fits in one way. Your logo is going to be horizontal where it's readable. That's how it goes back on. going to take this cover off once all your screws are loose down here in the bottom corner on both sides this clips into the cover so you got to kind of peel it out of there a little bit to get it to pop free then you'll be able to get it off and then there's two rubber feet right here that are on little guide pins here so you gotta pick it up over that to get this cover to come off then you're done once you got it opened up this is what you're going to be looking at right here it's a good time if you want to do any cleaning, you can go ahead and clean it up. We already cleaned this up. I will insert a slideshow of those pictures before and after. Down here in the tank is going to be the fuel filters we're replacing. You can kind of see it down in there. Let's go ahead and uh, start replacing this stuff. was talking about this is your double fuel filter system on this model you've got your fuel filter with two plugs and then a single one coming off of it you want to disconnect this single one replace it first onto the new one and then make sure when you take this line off you do not drop it back in the fuel tank it'll be like you're playing one of those games at the fair where you're ring tossing trying to get it on top of the bottle because it's about as hard as it's going to be to get that line back out of the fuel tank so don't do that <laughs> I just did there once you get both the fuel filters replaced you want to fish them back down into the fuel tank make sure they're resting down here in the bottom of the fuel tank that way it's sucking from the bottom now if you notice we took our fuel cap completely off and it's got this little hanging ball right here so let me bring you in closer show you where this locks in you can block it back in 
for the ease of a fingertip. This little channel right here that you see is where this hangy ball from the fuel cap locks into. So you just get it in there with your finger and you can lock that in. Once you got it in there, you just kind of pull up on it to lock it in. And there you go, your fuel cap is reattached. The next thing we're gonna do is swap out the spark plug. I got a 3 8 wrench, six inch attachment, and I do believe this spark plug takes a 5 8 spark plug socket. Always start your new spark plugs by hand. Tats tat and two tats broken. We got everything back together. We're gonna put some fuel in this baby and show you how she blows. Oh yeah, it's blowing time. Mm, ready to blow we are. Started we must. <laughs> It will be if you use it to blow your yard. That concludes our video here of this tune-up job on the steel BR600 Magnum backpack blower. I appreciate you all watching the video. As always, if you enjoyed the content, please show some love. Dragon heart out.